Hi, and welcome back, you guys. We're here with a brand new de guest desk. Never been um, on before. First, never been on. Never been on. Brand new desk. Just, just sitting here. Um, first time flyer on Hawk Talk 2, and it's a different kind of a Zoom one. So, Hawkins, can you go ahead and introduce yourself and where you're from and what you do here at DSU? Yeah, hi, I'm Hawkins Fredrickson. Um, I'm from Ennis, Montana. Uh, I'm on the track team and an exercise science major. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, awesome. Hey, Coulter, who are you? I'm sorry, I left you out. Oh, by the way, I'm Coulter Hickok. And uh, Ellie, who are you? Oh, hi, I'm Ellie Hanser. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so we kind of talked about this a little bit last week on Hawk Talk, but we are starting a brand new segment. Hawking, you're our first one here today, um, and it's a senior spotlight for, you know, those spring athletes that their seasons, you know, got cut a little bit short um, this spring due to coronavirus. So, you know, it's, it's a hard subject. I know it's, I couldn't even imagine having my season cut short, but what are kind of your plans here now that, uh, you know, outdoor season was canceled? You know, I just want to um, <clears throat> I want to finish my academic or my school year up really well, and uh, you know, get on, keep on track to graduation, and hopefully uh, get out of here in the next two or three weeks. And then uh, after that, you know, I'm not sure. We'll just see how this whole thing shakes out. What I'm gonna do after that? It's kind mm -hmm. of a you know, it's a tough, it's a tough thing right now because there's so much uncertainty we don't know if we're going to be in this for another six months or if it'll be done you know by the end of uh, April so you know I think that just time will tell and we're just gonna see where it goes yeah so I know the boys came back with some hardware after the indoor season but how did indoor season go for you personally uh, personally, I got second. I just did the pole vault. Uh, there was the the day of the indoor track meet or indoor conference track meet. There was uh, murmurs at breakfast that I would have to run a four by eight. Which, for anybody that knows me, I'm not an 800 runner in the very least. <laughs> I haven't ran an 800 since I was in middle school. But <laughs> we had some guys step up and uh, take that over, and our eight or uh, our four by eight did really well. Um, I think they ended up third or fourth. And then me personally, like I said, I got second in the pole vault, made the podium for, I don't know, fourth or fifth time in my career. And uh, it was a good meet. It was a close meet. There was a little bit of chirping going on um, between us and a couple of the teams. But um, it was a fun meet. It was really competitive. And, you know, we came out of there with a runner-up in the North Star. It was a really fun meet. Yeah, that's really exciting. Awesome. And so you said that you're going to move out of here in two to three weeks. So what kind of made you decide that, you know, you weren't going to keep your eligibility, you know, wait a whole nother year for another spring semester to keep on to have that last, you know, outdoor season? Um, it was a tough decision, I guess. Uh, I, I love track so much, and it's been mm -hmm. such a huge part. Uh, me coming here and being at DSU and uh, just, you know, being an athlete. But uh, I guess it just came down to I'd been out here for four and a half, five years, and uh, it's just time for something different and something new. You know, I want to uh, see what else I can do, see what else um, I guess I can accomplish. And Yeah, and you had a great, you know, you had a great end there, um, finishing, getting on the podium one last time in indoor. So, I mean, at least you kind of had that last chance to in track. So, that's exciting. It's great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, Hawking, I don't, I mean, this is your first time on Hawk Talk. So, have, have you ever seen the show before? Oh, yeah, tons. All right. So, you know how we ask some fun questions here and there. So, I got a little bit of a two-parter for you. So, I mean, all, right. all your spare time now, what are you doing and what's your favorite quarantine snack? Oh, geez. Uh, okay. So, I'm still working, which is kind of a blessing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm working up the runnings, so I still have that going on. Um, but I guess in my free, free time, uh, I've been going fishing quite a bit, and then mm -hmm. I've been going on. Uh, Bellfield and trying to shoot some prairie dogs, but they're elusive little suckers. 
Um, I guess my favorite quarantine <laughs> snack. You guys might think this is gross, but I've been on one lately with it. Uh, I do hard boiled eggs and ramen noodles. I mean, that's yeah. an actual ramen bowl. So, I mean, that's not that weird. Yeah. I've seen where they like crack the egg in and then like kind of scramble it, but that's new. I like, I don't know how I feel about the hard boiled eggs. Yeah, I kind of like, I like dice them up, you know, so it's not like I'm like noodling in egg. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, Hawkin. I mean, you're, we're in a very unique spot. I mean, obviously this is probably like not the exact way you want to finish the end of your academic career, but what kind of a reaction um, have you seen with all the online, like moving online from the university and your professors? I've seen some really cool stuff, guys. Um, I guess, you know, stuff like like um, more hands-on classes that I'm in, like my advanced exercise science class and um, uh, my biology lab class. Like, just, just what those professors are doing to keep us engaged and keep us learning and, um, you know, not lose what we've been building on this entire year, you know. That's been that's been really cool for me to see, and I'm sure for the rest of my class to see. Um, and then, you know, I've seen a lot of really cool stuff uh, that teachers are doing, even at the high school level. My dad, he's a high school teacher, mm -hmm. and stuff that, uh, he sent me and what they're doing, you know, to just keep the kids learning. You know, kids get out, we get out, and we're like, well, I don't have to go to school anymore, but we still have to do our schoolwork. It's easy yeah. to procrastinate. So just seeing some of the things that they're doing is it, it, it's neat for me to see, I guess. Yeah. I like that. So now is the part of the show where we kind of ask you, I mean, talking, what does DSU mean to you? Oh, geez. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last four and a half years of my life, you know, it's been, it's been a ride. And it's been so much fun. The people that I've met here, the coaches and faculty and staff and students and athletes, like, you know, just being on campus and around people, it's like a, it's a whole family. It's a community. And, you know, our little motto that they have up in May Hall, small community, big opportunity, that hits it right on the head. Like, DSU's, we're a family. And that's awesome. Come on. Come on, Hawkins. Allergy season, you know, there's just something in my eye. Uh, that was one of the best ones I think I've had. That's one of the best responses I think. Mm -hmm, but, I agree. Hawkins, so, thank you so much for coming on with us today. It was awesome getting to hear from you. And I'm so glad that you got the Hawk Talk experience. I mean, yeah. it's not it's not at consolidated, so it's not exactly the same, but we wanted to thank you again for coming on with us. That was awesome. And I mean, we'd give you this shirt, but uh I mean, I'm not there. Ellie's not there. So, I mean, next time we see you, Hawking, you're for sure getting a shirt. And those are sponsored by Immovable Ministries and the DSU Heritage Foundation. So, again, Hawking, thank you very much for coming on, buddy. And good luck. Two, what is it, three more weeks? Three more weeks, baby. Woo-hoo! woo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for having me on. This was great. Yeah. Thank you very much, Hawking. And we'll be right back. back with another guest. Hey guys, it's Tyler with Immovable Ministries here, and I'm so excited to be able to be the sponsor for this year's Hawk Talk. If you'd like to find out more about Immovable Ministries, you can visit our website at immovableministries.com. And welcome back. As you can see, we have another brand new guest with us. So why don't you introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, and what do you do here at DSU on the Zoom meeting? 
I'm Lisa Townsend, and I'm from Douglas, Wyoming. Um, I run cross country and track, and I also cheerlead at DSU. I mean, you're a pretty frequent flyer, if we have to say so. More, more one of our frequent guests. Well, when I stay pretty busy, so. <laughs> yeah, but first time ever on Zoom, right? Yes, this is actually, I haven't even had a Zoom class yet. Oh, really? So this is my first Zoom ever. Oh Has it been God. pretty easy adapting? Uh, well, right now, yeah, it has. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Trying to make everything as easy as possible for you. No, it's great, honestly. Yeah, this is actually really cool to do this like this. Like, yeah, a little. that's what I thought, too. Last week was my first time on Zoom, too, and I was like, this is awesome. Have you guys had classes on there? Uh, on no, there? not really. Yeah, I've had Blackboard, like the Blackboard co collaborative that mm -hmm. on Ultra thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I that's what we've been doing, so gotcha, gotcha. interesting. Um, anyway, coming back in, Zoom's awesome. Um, we just got done talking to Hawkin, you know, a little bit about how his senior year has changed. And obviously, Lisa, you've had such an amazing career here at DSU, and we were all a little bit worried when we saw that, you know, we weren't going to be able to see you in outdoor. But I understand that you adjusted some things to take advantage of that eligibility. Can you tell us about what your plans are for next spring? Yeah, so actually starting in August, I'm going to be teaching at Dickinson High School full time. So that's really exciting. Congratulations! Um, that's you. so cool. Yeah, I'm super jacked about that. But um, I, I knew if it was, if my eligibility was going to be I knew I was going to have to make some tough decisions, tough decisions with my eligibility mm -hmm. um, for next year and deciding if I could handle um, full-time teaching and, um, you know, classes and stuff. But I made the decision that um, I'm going to per start pursuing my, um, my graduate degree in the spring. And so I'll oh take gosh. six, I think I have to take six credits, so two classes, and um, then that'll make me eligible for the outdoor season. So yeah, I said, all right, I'll do it. So awesome. yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for it. And so what is the degree that you are pursuing in? Um, I'll probably get, start my, um, my education graduate. I think it's at DSU. I think it's just called, it's not a master's of education at DSU. It's like a master's of teaching. But I might start my graduate degree here at Dickinson and then um, probably transfer so I can get um, maybe like a master's of education in leadership or something like that. But I'm not totally sure yet, but I'm going to get the ball rolling in the spring. So yeah. kind of Was I that mean. a composite social science or just history education that you're going for? Or you've already... Well, yeah, so in the spring, I graduate with history education bachelor's. Yeah. And then my graduate degree will be Master's of Education, I think is what it's called. Wow, that is exciting. And am I wrong here? Isn't that Master's degree for education, isn't that pretty new, right? Yeah, or I think it's in the last year, honestly. Mm -hmm. Awesome, so like that's like perfect timing for you, huh? And uh, I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, and it's online too, so that's going to help me be flexible with um, teaching and running since I'm going to have kind of those three things going. So I, I'm kind of nervous to do graduate courses mm -hmm. online, but at the same time, like, it's going to let me, you know, keep pursuing my dreams and, and my goals for running. So, you know, I'm going to just deal with that. That is awesome. awesome. So this will be the first time in your career that you're not just running track all year round, right? Since you already are done with your eligibility in the fall. How are you going to stay in shape? What are your plans there? <laughs> um, well, it has been tough. <laughs> staying in shape. Um, I will say I'm, I'm, I'm pretty motivated to be mm. active. I don't have too hard of a time like wanting to um, be active, but it is hard. It has been hard for me to run more than a couple miles. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> what? Yeah, me too. Oh, I, I thought you miles every day. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, I, I'm probably gonna get on a more 
strict training plan maybe starting in August is mm -hmm. kind of what I'm going for maybe in August starting like low mileage maybe I don't I honestly don't know what it looks like yet I haven't had that conversation yet with coach Whitcott but mm -hmm. for the time being I think I want to still try to run a marathon um maybe in June with my family no. but I'm not in very good shape right now <laughs> so <laughs> so we'll have to see but that's so cool yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try part of like my training plans I hope is going to include some road races mm -hmm. this summer and then into the fall since I won't have cross country meets I think I'm going to try to find some alternative road races that way I'm staying like in competition and that's just probably better motivation for yeah. running is when you have an upcoming race so mm -hmm. I'll probably try to get in a couple of couple road races before um, outdoor track starts even. Yeah, that sounds well, nice. talking about being in good shape and all that, I'm a, I know that staying inside sucks, but uh, what's your favorite quarantine snack right now? I'm, I'm just kind of asking the food questions around here. So, I mean, we just got to keep it, uh, keep it fun, keep it light, but quarantine snack. Okay, quarantine snack. I, this is, this is going to sound weird. I love Rice Krispie cereal with honey all over it. That doesn't sound weird. I have been getting some major calories from eating that. That sounds so good, though. I know. It, it smacks. Huh. Might have to try it. Honestly, you're going to have to. <laughs> um, what? I mean, school has been different. I think I saw somewhere that you were back in Wyoming for a little bit. So what, what does your quarantine kind of look like? Well, I, yeah, I was in Wyoming for when um, – School got canceled when the public school district um, stopped school. Um, mm -hmm. I decided, I was like, hey, if I have this time, I'm going to go and spend time with my parents because really there's probably going to be no other time in my life when I get to um, be around them for that mm -hmm. long. And so I decided to go to Wyoming and it was a little tough living with my parents again, <laughs> but, um, but, um, it was, it was really nice. I, I made sure every day when I was there to be active, I tried to go running. I feel like every day at around seven o'clock, I could hear my dad and he goes running. I don't, sometimes he's kind of, he's kind of weird. He sometimes either goes really early in the morning or he, he waits until um, later in the day. And so that was really good motivation, knowing that my dad, my 70 year old dad is going out and getting, going for a run. But I was in bed, but yeah, so that was nice. And then I probably gained 10 pounds while I was there because of the home cooked meals. So that's really good. Um, but no, it was, it, I'm, I'm back in Dickinson right now. I actually just got oh. back yesterday. Um, I might have to start my, my job at the rec soon maybe. So I was. From what I understand, we're looking to open on the first. They are. Yeah. See, I don't even know that. So I'm glad I came back, but yeah. That's really exciting. That'll be yeah. good to have something to do. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's interesting because we've never had anything like this happen. Like, when can we just, like, go home like that? You know what I mean? Like, Well, I, I figured that I was home for almost a month exactly, mm -hmm. and that was the first time I had spent that long in Douglas with my parents since I – came to college so that's crazy yeah that's kind of cool to do that I will say I'm, I'm pretty happy to be back and on my you know own schedule mm -hmm. but I do miss my mom and dad they're probably gonna watch this and be like you get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, but, or Ellie after you you go oh. I'm talking to you okay so <laughs> Lisa, I know you've asked this, or we've asked you this question a lot of times, but I mean, everybody's answer is still great. But what does DSU mean to you? DSU to me, um, it's just a community, uh, you know. Uh, sorry, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, being a Blue Hawk to me is a knowing that you're going to get support when you're you know, not doing great, but you're also getting support when you're doing great. Um, I love being a Blue Hawk. I love our community. Um, I'm so blessed that I came to this university four years ago. 
Um, but yeah, it's just being a Blue Hawk is just all about community and supporting each other. Yeah. I think that's how like a lot of people feel too. And we are mm-hmm. so happy that you have found like, a, you're literally starting a big girl job, you know what I mean? This <laughs> fall, which is so exciting, you know, but like, it's, it makes me so happy that DSU has brought these opportunities to so many people because, you know, like, do you think that you would have been starting a master's program? I just, I don't know. It's so cool. It's so cool to hear, you know, your side of things and the positive that you found through like this harder time. So, yeah. When I was on Facebook the other day, I just saw a post from Dr. Frank Varney and I read that and I was like, he cares about every student that he teaches. And I can see that in the two classes I'm taking from him now, but what he said about you kind of, uh, that's just what I hope to be someday, Lisa. So I thank you for that. Yeah, he that made me tear up when Dr. <laughs> posted that. By far one of my favorite professors of all time. He's awesome. I seriously teared up when I read that tweet and I and then it just made me so thankful to, you know, be a part of this community and get to meet people like Dr. Varney because there's so many people in the DSU community like him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Well, we wanted to thank you again for coming on today. Um, yeah. This definitely isn't the last time, right? We'll, we'll see you next spring. Yeah, yes. yeah. Maybe wait like a whole year until I'm at like a whole year, okay. and we'll see if I'm better at interviews because I'm terrible. At these no, interviews. this is great. But April twenty second, I'm writing it down on my calendar. Yeah, April twenty second of twenty twenty one. Okay. And yeah. hopefully it won't be a Zoom meeting. Hopefully it'll be actually face to face again. Yeah. yeah. Ron, our producer, said he likes his Zoom meetings more. So I really, know. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I think we'll go back. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Well, again, but, thank you, Lisa, for coming on. Yeah. No problem. Thanks for having me. Bye. <laughs> Ellie and I will be back with uh, maybe a little recap right after this. Well, I mean, what have you been doing, Ellie? I mean, you haven't talked uh, since like yesterday when we were doing. Um, you know, I've been working a lot. That's been super fun, and I had <laughs> I had a nursing test today. That was kind of interesting because it was the lockdown you know, like recording. So they locked down our internet and then, or not our internet, like just like our browser. So we can't cheat or anything. Right. And then it was usually recorded. So I am so excited to see if like what my teachers say to what I was saying to myself, because I would talk myself through each question and I'd be like, yeah, Ellie, that's right. And then I'd like click it. And then I'd be like, like, hyping yourself up. You're like, yeah, I got this Ellie. (laughs) Yeah. So I mean, like (laughs) Aaron, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy it because it's going to be gold. Um, Yeah, what about you? What have you been up to? Uh, Well, yesterday I helped my mom uh, make chocolate-covered strawberries, uh, make uh, cupcakes, uh, made some steaks, uh, grilled asparagus, baked potatoes. Uh, I've been a uh, basically a stay-at-home mom. Oh. But for my family. So I'm cooking, cleaning, I'm doing it all, and I love it. I did until I got tired of it, and then I just got covered with powdered sugar when I was making frosting. Or do you wear like a little maid costume? Uh, no, but I have thought about it. But they don't make enough uh, one big for my like figure because I'm very creepy, if you couldn't tell. Dang it. Um, let's see. What are what are we missing from DSU? Because you're all the way in Montana. What are you missing most about Dickinson? Uh, I'm missing uh, my friends. Uh, I'm missing doing hot talk in our studio. Even though our producer, Ron, who is going to watch this later, he said that uh, he really likes how we do our Zoom meetings and uh, we hope to continue them. Uh, and we even got an email thanking us about uh, what we did last week. So, I mean, it's just great to see all this reaction from how we're going to do this forward now. But uh, anything else from you? So, but that email like really made my whole week and so yeah I, I thought it was great I, I work at the Trek Center and so 
it just again is like showing the community here and it's I don't know it just it's awesome to see the responses from everyone and you know sometimes I think we need to like level ourselves and remember that everyone's going through the same thing so it's been it's been a good it's been a good few months it has been I totally agree yeah but so we ready to we ready to do it we should probably thank our sponsors one more time Immovable Ministries we would not be here without you, you know, look at that shirt, right? I say like, it's like behind me, but it's behind Coulter's. So like it is right here. I thought we needed some wall art in my uh, family garage kitchen, but uh, I think it's perfect. Just right there. It's actually a shirt that I just pinned up and it might look a little weird, but we're going to go with it. Yeah. And then of course the heritage foundation for letting Coulter and I do this. And then I don't think we thank Susanna and Seth for coming on last week too, but we love having them back. They're more invited to our Zoom meetings whenever they're possible, but they're way busier than us. They are. And also congratulations to Susanna. I don't know if you're going to watch this or not, but she got hired in to teach in Nashville, Tennessee, which is, I, I'm so happy for her. I can't even speak. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what we talked about even on her goodbye episode on Hawk Talk is that was her goal and that's her plan so for her to get there is so cool to see so congratulations Susanna Hawk Talk host for life going on to the big thing we're gonna miss you so much yeah but I think that's it I think that's I everyone. think that's it yeah we ready we ready to do it again yeah. another week in quarantine huh another week Nucks through the <laughs> <laughs> okay and as always, talk for us. Almost. We almost got it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.